In less than 10 days from now, I'm going to be in North Dakota on a mule deer hunt with my 3 way bolt action rifle for the first time ever. Now, since we don't have a 3 way in Call of the Wild, we're going to be using the 30 odd 6 bolt action rifle. So today we're going to try and replicate what it's going to be like when I do my mule deer hunt and we're going to be passing up a lot of smaller to medium sized bucks until we find, you know, that very, very impressive, super wide or super tall, very, very massive muley buck. That right there is not quite what we're looking for. It's a 130 to 190. So yeah, it's probably going to be like a 150. We want to get something that's at least 220 plus maybe 230s something in that ballpark now when i'm saying 230 plus i'm not talking in real life <laughs> in real life a 230 plus like that's state record type we're talking 180 plus 190 plus is what we want but if it gets down to the last day we'll probably take like a 170 if we have to we just got eyes on our first potential decent muley buck out here now he's not a giant but he's definitely borderline it's still early on in the season right now, and we have to make a very, very difficult decision. That is whether or not we're gonna take down this 220 plus muley buck, or are we gonna hold off for potentially an even bigger one? And honestly, I think we're actually gonna pass him up because he's just not quite big enough for what we're looking for. And I know there's definitely some giants out here, guys. I've seen them out here, so I know they're definitely around. But boy, what a good buck though. I mean, if we come back next year and that thing's still around, wow, that thing's gonna be an absolute giant. He's definitely gonna be a guaranteed shooter next year. We've been walking for quite a while now and I just saw a really good buck. There's a couple of small ones out here, but then there's a beautiful buck. He's out there somewhere in this thick brush. It's very difficult to spot him. That's not him, that's a, you know what? That right there is like a 170, 180s buck. And like I said before, on the last day, we'd probably take him down definitely in a heartbeat. That's a 170 right there, as a matter of fact. I just saw him trot through there, and oh my god, is he wide. Holy, he is one incredible buck. When you see a buck like this, you know that he's definitely a shooter. You don't even have to think twice. It's just like, wow. Oh my god, there he is right there. You see what I'm talking about? Look how wide and tall that thing is. Wow, that is a 250, maybe a 260 plus muley. And that is exactly what we're after. He's got a couple of good bucks in the same herd as him as well, but he is definitely the dominant one. Holy, he is so, so massive. All right, so he's in this brush right here. We have a pretty bad wind. But I'm thinking if we swing a little bit more left, it might help us out just a little bit. Well, we sat there and waited for a long time for him to come out and he never did. So what we decided to do is go over in this brush here. And sure enough, he was just sitting in here bedded and he jumped up and man, he is impressive. I just saw him going that way out there. He's maybe like 150 yards out, but we're trying to figure out where he's gonna come out of this brush here. And if we can get there quick enough, we might be able to try and cut him off. Okay guys, so we decided to sit here and find a spot where we can see really good and watch and wait. And there's kind of a little crossing right here where they got a naturally funnel past. So I thought if we waited long enough, he should eventually come back. And I just caught motion of a buck. Oh my God, that's him. He's 150 yards out right there, guys. We're gonna crouch down. And he should cross right here somewhere. Look at that. You can see his massive rack right there. So there's two bucks here. There's two really good bucks here. One's an absolute giant. And one is a pretty good buck, like uh, probably 200. Maybe there's three different bucks here, guys. I honestly don't even know which one to take. <laughs> Two stud bucks. I mean, just phenomenal looking bucks. Look at that. I honestly don't even know which one we're going to take. They're both just super, super impressive. Come on. Come on. So, I think we're probably going to take the second one. No freaking way, that's a melanistic. God. Holy 
that is one phenomenal, incredible, super rare, melanistic, giant mule deer. And um, this is the one that I really wanted to get. So we're going to smoke him too. Are you absolutely kidding me right now? Where did this thing come from? I, uh, I'm just totally speechless. This is one of the coolest rares by far that I've ever gotten on Parque Fernando. <laughs> I mean, I can't say that this is probably even possible to happen, you know, when I'm hunting mule deer in real life, but I never even spotted this thing. I have no clue how big it is or anything. I don't know anything about this. <sighs> A 280 gold melanistic muley buck. And one of the coolest looking racks around too, on top of it, he came out of nowhere. Like we're trying to get a massive 260, maybe 270 plus muley. Maybe he's like a 275. Either way, he's a he's a giant buck. But then we're getting ready to decide which buck we want to take. And all of a sudden I realized this thing was a melanistic. This is a super rare melanistic mule deer. They don't get much cooler than that or bigger than that. And what a phenomenal rack. Oh my God, that thing's going to look so cool. But guess what guys, we did take a pretty good shot on that second buck as well. The main one that we really wanted to get. And right here is where we took the shot. A nice, nice vital hit. And here he is piled up right over here. So let's go take a look at this buck. And this here is definitely an incredible buck as well. And this is actually the buck that we wanted to get in the very, very beginning. Let's take a look at him and find out. That's going to be a 269.6 gold muley buck. And we took him at 55 yards, smoked him as he was quartering away on the trot, double lung with the 30 odd six bolt action rifle. Man. So when I'm on my mule deer hunt, I'm also going to be bringing my 308 AR. And uh, that right there would have been a perfect situation to be able to pull out the 308 AR and just smoke him 55 yards on the trot. And what a what an incredible buck that we just took down. What two incredible bucks that we just took down there. Back to back, stunning, giant muley bucks. And well, I guess that goes to show you why you should pass up small bucks. <laughs> because you just never know when there's going to be an absolute giant monster lurking around the next corner. <laughs> All right, we're trying to get to another location here and we found a couple of beautiful water buffalo in fact there's an absolute giant mythical 280 yards out and i thought i had a 300 magnum here oh i definitely do have it and that's gonna be him right there look at that thing oh drilled him high in that front shoulder as he was walking but that should have got single lung and shoulder blade as well all right, we took the shot right here. We got a nice vital hit. I do believe this should be from the mythical. Now the next question is, where in the heck did he go? I thought he ran this way. Yeah, he definitely did. We got some more blood right here, as a matter of fact. And I do believe that the other buffalo ran this direction as well. So we might in fact find two of them laying over here side by side. Right here should be our massive mythical. Let's go take a look at him. Holy, that's going to be him. A 161.5 massive mythical water buffalo. You're talking he was only not even six points off from being a diamond as a mythical. 276 yard, beautiful left lung shot there. Again, the 300 Magnum connecting quite nicely. Ooh, there's a good buck. That's what we're looking for. That is definitely what we're looking for. He's for sure a 140 plus. And he should step out right through there. Here he comes. Smoked him. All right, guys, there we go. Now we got another good, good buck. Should be like a 240 or 250s. 
Yeah, 246 and liver, left lung, stomach shot, 94 yards out. So that is a big old muley buck. Definitely a good one. And he's definitely a shooter. All right, so let's show you where we took down both of those incredible bucks, including a super rare, massive melanistic muley buck. Now, first off, we started over here at Boscape Muerto. We kind of looped around this way. We spotted a couple muley super small bucks right here and then right here. And we passed up both of those. And then we went over here, checked out this area, and I actually spotted that initial buck right here. Remember I told you that I spotted a really good buck? We passed up two 170s right here. And then the biggest buck, I well, I didn't really get a good look at him. I just knew that he was definitely like 230 or 240s. That's all I could tell because he jumped up and he was in this thick brush here. And I knew he was heading this way. So I thought, well, we're going to track him down. We tracked him all the way down. And we jumped him up here. I kind of waited for him to cross, but he stayed in this thick brush. He wouldn't come out. So we actually went into the brush. We kicked him up. He circled back around. And when he crossed this little crossing here, that's when we took him down. But at that point, we realized we had to make a decision. We had to choose one of the bucks. And, uh, well, we made a pretty good decision because we ended up taking down both of them. But yeah, they were right there. And it was 1130 in the morning. And we're on Parque Fernando. I don't usually end videos at the Trophy Lodge, but in this case here, there was no other way we could end it. So here we are taking a look at our super rare melanistic monster muley buck that we took. He scored 280.3, a massive, massive gold. And honestly, the rack that we have here, like we couldn't have gotten a better looking rack. We really couldn't have gotten a better looking rack. We are so, so lucky. I honestly, I don't even really know how to describe how I feel about this because I didn't know he was melanistic until he was less than 80 yards away and we were getting ready to take a shot on that 270 score in Muley. And then when I realized it, it was just, it was like it was too good to be true. And I didn't, I didn't even know how big he was because I never even spotted him. I just knew that he was, you know, above the 250 mark. But 280 melanistic gold muley buck down. So with that, we're going to have our giant melanistic mule deer here. And then over here, I decided to put our huge diamond that we just got a couple days ago. 328.6 scoring giant diamond muley. And over here, we put our massive 300 diamond bull moose that we just got a couple days ago. So that's what it's going to look like right now. And we'll finish it off at this giant rare melanistic muley that we just got today. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.